Why was it important for you to be here today? This is one of the global conferences becoming now. In the last decade, I've been attending Davos, and it's been like a very global, number one, the best. You meet a lot of people. But really, today, FFI is almost competing with that. If a network competing, becoming similar. So you find people from around the world coming here with different industries, discussing different topics, and especially in today's world where the geopolitical ch challenges, the high interest rates, high oil prices, you need to interact with the decision makers, you need to contribute, you need to listen and understand what is happening globally. So when you put all of that in mind, I must ask, how's business? Well, Dubai is booming. Dubai is doing very well. We're very happy. Uh, market have really, you know, doing fantastic. Uh, Dubai truly becoming today a global, not a global city, but in my view, in my humble view, a number one global city. It's beating every other city around the world in the growth, in the safety, in the communication, in the luxury, in the attraction of the super wealthy and the, and the talent around the world. Mm. Where are we in the real estate cycle at the moment? Dubai seems to have outperformed the world when it comes to luxury sales this year alone. Do you expect that trend to be able to continue? Yes. Dubai, I divide the cycle of Dubai into three phases. Phase one, uh, from 2001, when they launched the freehold, to 2008, where the crisis. It was immature, no very clear laws, uh, launch, 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 launch. So it was like an infant growing in a, in, a, in, a, in a humongous way. Then we have phase two, which is 2011 or 12, after the crisis, to 2019 or beginning of 20, and was city were going through normal cycles, cleaned up the bad developers, and start moving in a reasonable growth space. After COVID, Dubai has changed, because now it's attracting the wealthiest, the biggest talent, the, most, the hedge fund managers, the bankers, from all kinds of interesting people around the world. Mm. And I think that cycle will go for a long time. Uh, yes, naturally, we may see some softening uh, maybe in a year or two, but that's normal. And then we see again back. But Dubai, I think, is set for a good 10 years of good growth, especially at the high end, because attracting a lot of people who want luxury accommodation. So what gives you the confidence to say that this cycle can be maintained? Others are, stay, others are starting to say that perhaps there's some signs of weakness coming into the market now and valuations are starting to look stretched. Do you agree with that? No, depends how you look at it. If we had a growth of sales of 100% or if we had a growth of prices of 30%, that's not going to happen going forward the next year. You're not going to see prices going up by 30%. You're not going to see your sale go doubling again. That's not possible. But you may see your sale going up by 10%, 20%. Uh, I think prices are going to stabilize. You may see some areas 10 15% increase. But you're not going to see prices going up by 30 40%, which happened in the last two, three years.